If your makeup tends to get sweaty during the day, especially during hot and humid weather, then watch this video. First, before applying any makeup on, you always want to make sure that your skin is well moisturized and protected. So, every skin type should always moisturize before applying makeup. This will keep your skin hydrated throughout the day, preventing your skin from overproducing oils and sweat. And you want to make sure that the moisturizer you're using suits your skin type. So, when looking for a moisturizer, you want to look for one that is oil-free and hydrating. You don't want to use moisturizers with oils because you'll be adding more oils onto your skin which will cause your skin to sweat even more so some really good moisturizers for all skin types are the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel I also love the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base because it really helps to plump your skin and it's oil free and it's also really hydrating a mistake we commonly make is using only a moisturizer or only using a primer so you always want to combine both because a moisturizer is a skincare product that should be applied on your skin every single day to help provide the proper nutrients to your skin to keep it healthy and a moisturizer will not protect your skin from the makeup but a primer helps to protect your skin from the chemicals within the makeup essentially preventing your pores from being clogged and it also protects your skin from breaking out due to the chemicals within the makeup so when looking for a primer you want to use one that has protective ingredients such as like silica or silicone because the absorbing properties really help to mattify your skin and it helps to keep the shine away. Some really good primers for all skin types are the Cover FX Mattifying Booster Drops and the NYX Primer Base, so you have the Hydra Touch for dry skin and the Pore Filler Primer for oily skin or skin with a lot of pores. All right, so after applying the primer, your skin should look mattified and ready for makeup. All right, so once you've applied the primer and moisturizer, you wanna go in with setting powder to set those products in place and to prevent the sweat from coming through your pores. But you want to avoid using a pressed powder or a powder foundation because these products have coverage and you don't want to add coverage onto your skin because it's going to cause your skin to suffocate, essentially causing your skin to overproduce sweat during the day. Instead, you want to use a translucent setting powder because translucent powders are sheer light coverage powders that contain either like rice powder or cornstarch which helps to absorb the oils from the skin, preventing the sweat from peeking through your makeup. So for translucent and powder you want to get one that is close to your skin tone so I love using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in the shade medium deep because it's close to my skin tone and it's a translucent powder so it doesn't add coverage into my skin and a really good affordable option is the Milani make it last setting powder in the shade medium to deep this one is also a translucent one and it's a perfect one because it matches my skin tone and my undertone you don't want to use a brush to just swipe the powder on your skin because it will just be sitting on top of your skin instead you want to use a sponge and press the powder on your skin and focus on the areas that tend to get really oily which for some people is usually at the center of the face and around the nose area once you apply the powder your skin will be instantly mattified and the oils will instantly be absorbed by the powder sometimes you tend to think that setting spray and makeup primer are pretty much the same thing because they both contribute to a long-lasting makeup look but they're not the same thing setting spray is very similar to makeup primer but you use it to set powder so that it stays in place and doesn't move setting spray also contains finishing properties that helps to melt your makeup in place and makes it look skin like so when looking for a setting spray you want to opt for one with long-lasting properties that keep your makeup smudge proof and transfer resistant so these properties will also prevent your skin from producing these sweats and oils during hot and humid weather a really good setting spray that I've been using for a really really long time is the urban decay all-nighter setting spray I really like this one because it's oil free and it helps to lock your makeup in place for up to 12 hours a good affordable option is the Milani make it last dewy setting spray so this is good if you have dry skin and you're looking for a good affordable option so this one is also long-lasting and it's very very inexpensive so when you're applying the setting spray you want to saturate your whole face with a mist to help lock the powder in place so it doesn't move then you want to let this sit on your skin and dry for about two minutes before you apply any foundation Foundation. This will lock the primer in place so it doesn't move and will protect the sweats and oils from peeking through your pores. A mistake we tend to make is using more than one pump of foundation as the initial application. When we do this, we're suffocating the skin because we're going in with too much coverage all at once and this will end up causing our skin to sweat out because of that suffocation. Instead, you want to go in with only one pump at a time and always build up the coverage. This will allow you to 
layer the foundation on your skin rather than just pasting it on your skin. You only want to focus the foundation on the areas that don't sweat a lot, which is usually around the cheeks and the forehead area. Then you use whatever is left on the applicator to apply it on the areas that sweat a lot, which is usually at the center of your face, around your nose area, and on your cupid's bow. Doing this will prevent you from applying too much foundation and just makeup in general around the areas that tend to sweat a lot during the day, essentially preventing suffocation and getting your makeup to last on longer. So after completing your makeup look, your skin should look matte and skin-like. But after hours of wearing the makeup, you may form a little bit of oils on your skin. So instead of using a pressed powder on your skin to get rid of the oils, you want to opt for blotten powder instead. Blotten powder is a white translucent powder that contains mattifying properties that help to eliminate oils and sweat on your skin. But it doesn't add any additional coverage to your skin like pressed powder does. You can also use blotten paper, which is similar to black and powder but they come in paper strips that you can use to press onto your skin to instantly eliminate sweat and oils but honestly even after all this your makeup might still separate due to the incorrect prepping of your skin and that's why this video right here is so important and you have to watch it because I go over the reasons why your makeup might be separating and how to prevent it for all skin types KLJ welcome to a channel where it's popping 